Good morning, uh, Le Tip. Um, what I'd like to speak during my uh, opportunity to have been have been retired for five years, playing golf every day, wearing out my body, <laughs> drinking and smoking cigars and doing things you shouldn't do. I uh, <clears throat> was fortunate enough to be able to select a career, a secondary career that I uh, felt uh, uh, energized and enthusiastic about. And I started dabbling as a consultant in the solar industry. And uh, I became enamored with the idea that, you know, possibly houses, businesses could run from solar energy production and this would be a nice legacy to live, uh, to leave after I <coughs> leave, <laughs> to have the ability that the solar systems that I installed would continue to keep operating and operating, etc. So what I wanted to do today was to develop my own environmental impact statement and to demonstrate the primary purpose that we talk way too much, I think, about uh, money. When we talk about solar, everybody wants to know how fast the system pays for itself, uh, when the return on investment occurs, uh, how much money will the solar system offset. And I think there's something a lot more important than that, <clears throat> and that's the environmental impact of the solar energy system rather than the financial impact. So what I did is I calculated up all of the uh, projects that I have been responsible for and have installed over the last 12 years. And uh, approximately about 5 million watts of energy has been installed at my uh, direction. It's about 5 megawatts of solar. So the uh, equivalency of the carbon uh, footprint offset, what we talk about is environmental uh, uh, in, environmental uh, impact is equivalent to the uh, 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 three, well five uh, million uh, thirty two thousand five hundred and thirteen trees planted uh, miles driven would be uh, two uh, hundred and twenty eight uh, million seven hundred and fifty thousand uh, miles of a medium-sized car, not obviously a small one, or the greenhouse gas emissions that have been reduced by 124,716 tons of CO2. So that's a significant amount of environmental impact. Now this is will be the uh, cumulative if I were to stop today and not produce any more over the next 25 years. Uh, the actual energy produced from sunshine, <clears throat> it'd be 157,750,000 kilowatt hours of electricity. And the last thing was everybody's always interested in the money saved for those energy systems uh, over the next 25 years, would be 61,568,850 bucks, assuming five and a half percent inflationary rate of cost of power over the next 25 years. So that's a, a proud accomplishment. I, that's what I got into the business for. Uh, I've never really made a lot of money in the solar business, but I enjoy every day uh, being able to consult with my customers uh, to, to design solutions for them. And I enjoy watching their enthusiasm occur when their meter starts going the backwards direction. So that is uh, what I was here to want to do uh, to speak on. And I'd be happy to answer any questions that anybody may have about anything. Yes, sir. Different. Uh, I guess you could say length of time that a solar panel that you put on your house will actually last and actually increase energy. It's a good question. Solar, uh, the solar technology, the panel itself, the module they call it is uh, is a very uh, uh, a stable technology and very well tested in life conditions. They've been around for many, many, many years and have not uh, changed significantly uh, their design. They're warranted by their manufacturer uh, to uh, still be producing 80% of the power they made brand new uh, 25 years from now. So, 
it's probably unlikely any of the manufacturers will be around 25 years. It seems they are falling like flies. But uh, the actual technology, the equipment, how it's made, uh, has been well tested on hot roofs and in extreme environments and on mountain tops and in marine and salty air. And they last and they work and they continue to work for a long period of time. So it's a very stable technology and they do work good. Sir. If, um, if someone moves, is it easier to just start over, or can they take it with them to the new house, or what? That's a good question. Uh, you know, uh, I sold my house and had solar on it. The new uh, owner was excited that they were inheriting a house that had solar energy, so I got to start over on the next house. But I could have taken them off and moved them. I think it's uh, easier to sell them with it and let it go. There's a lot of leasing programs today that uh, provide uh, uh, assumable leases, so you can essentially leave it there. It's kind of like the satellite dish. You can call them up and get a new one installed for nothing at your new house, so it's really nothing that uh, is of a concern. Yes, ma'am. My neighbor has solar panels, and he pays like 7 to $14 a month for the electricity, and he has a spot. Can he yeah, that's, that's the nice part about it. He probably has, did he pay for the solar or did he lease it, you know? He paid for it many yeah. years ago. Yeah. That's what I did. I paid for mine. It was very expensive, you know, 12 years ago. They've come down in cost substantially. Isn't there a state program that will pay for the house right now? Yeah, there's like 30% of the cost is, uh, is a tax credit. You got to be paying taxes, but if you have a tax liability, 30% of the money uh, that you spend is uh, is uh, is a tax credit. There's some small rebates depending on which utility you uh, are connected to. You know, I've asked this before, but has anything changed about putting solar panels on manufactured homes? Um, yeah, the, the, uh, it's always an issue as to uh, who controls over manufactured homes. If it's a home with an actual real estate uh, uh, title to it and the manufacturer does not have a warranty with you and they use something bigger than two by two roof rafters and uh, you can actually do it. We've done some, but if it's a new home in a, in a in a development and the uh, there's a warranty usually that comes with them that lasts a long time and if you connect your solar system to the roof system you can void your uh, warranty on the manufactured home so, so does, that, does that pertain to the roof itself yeah it's it's a loading issue it's not the weight going down it's the wind uh, gust uh, going up so the, once you connect the solar panels all together in a, an array, uh, it, it, it can get an updraft from a uh, strong wind. And if the uh, attachment systems weren't sufficiently uh, built or designed for that, then that could be a problem. We've seen solar arrays that have been connected to rooftops like in Florida, where hurricanes come. The whole array is still intact, but it's in somebody else's yard. <laughs> <laughs> With that section of roof that is connected. <laughs> <laughs> you, what, you, what you need to do is to get an engineering uh, certi certification of the design. And that would require a physical stamp, and uh, which we perform and we get. So if you were interested in doing it, it's just an additional step that you have to go through in order to get some engineer to stamp it. And we have guys that drink a lot, and if we give them 300 bucks, they'll certify anything. <laughs> been gonged, I have to I have to hurry. You got about 30 seconds, but I do have a qu uh, last question is what if you have if one of these big homes that are around here like one of these 2500 yeah. 3000 foot homes you got the AC unit you got yeah. the pool yeah what exactly can this thing power up on a day like today We've right clearly blue skies and some on my house, the the meter, instead of going backwards during air conditioning, would be stationary. So it wasn't going backwards, it wasn't going forward. But I had a small system, and I had a small air conditioner. 
generally, I did a big a big house in uh, your Belinda, and we tested it with it on and with it off, and it was still going backwards, but slower than it was when it was off. And with an AC unit, yeah, full filter, right, barrels. right. But to be sure, if the power goes off, your solar system goes off as well, and it essentially nothing operates. So solar systems aren't a replacement for grid power. Uh, solar systems are designed to be grid connected and they use grid power. Now I do have a customer that Gil sent me, we're building a huge battery backup system and he will be the only house in Newport Beach, probably in his community. I can give you the address if you guys need your cell phones charged when there's a grid outage. You, uh, you had one quick note. I've heard that your electric bill is not up to Right. My, my bill was 90 bucks when I put mine in. It wasn't about the money for me. I just liked the idea of having an environmental offset. So you'll have to wait for my next presentation if you want more information. Thank you very much.